Hello, my name is Elizabeth. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create an SPSS file from a paper questionnaire. The questionnaire which we would like to create is looking at benefits of a new therapy for stroke patients. So in the questionnaire, we have recorded treatment group the patients were randomized into two groups the control group and the treatment group so you can see in our question we have a question called treatment group of which we have two choices now the second question we want to know about their age and we wanted the raw age so we subtracted from today's date or 2015 from the year of birth and that gave us the patient age so we want that continuum date type the third question we are looking at how many days they stayed in hospital so likewise this data was also computed from the date of admission and the date of discharge now on question number four we have a number of questions which is the background which is premorbidities to the event of stroke happening so we wanted to check six things whether they have diabetes they have hypertension and on and on for six different health um, histories that we want to know and five six and seven we wanted to check the ability to travel to cook and to do some housekeeping chores now to make it simple i have suggested names for the questions so we have question number one question number two question number three we could either call it question one question two question three or we could just name them group age LOS now when it comes to question four question four is very interesting it's not just one piece of information we need we need six pieces of information so we can call it question 4a 4b 4c 4d e and f or we can just choose to call it by these labels now question five is a simple choice question with five choices to choose from travel question six and seven are likewise simple choices out of five or six to choose from so we're going to set up to begin with a template to reflect this data that we want to collect and then we have a stack of 20 paper-based completed questionnaire which we would then input onto SPSS file which we are about to create so here we see a clean SPSS file we have the two sheets which is the data view and the variable view we need to set up the template of the questionnaire using the variable view before we can put the 20 records into the data view screen so we will click on the variable view and under the name i'm going to call the first question by the name group so put the cursor under the name you can gently click on it and then type in group click on the tab key SPSS would automatically fill all the columns as much as it thinks it's right but we need to go in and clean it up the type of variable should be left as numeric because in the group we only have two groups we have control group and treatment group so we're going to represent zero for control and one for treatment as such we don't need a decimal so I would delete the decimals and put zero decimals 
and in the label it would be nice for us to say treatment group so you type in treatment group and then moving on to the next column this is where we would declare the values for the treatment group or the choices available to treatment group so I will click on the three full stop and that would then open the value labels dialog box so here I will start counting from zero so zero will be represented by the control group click on add and then back again into the value the value one I will label that as treatment and then add again so now that we can see the two choices in this box we can click on OK that is done we don't have any missing and so we go straight into the most important one or the last and the most important one is the measurement now we know by now that once we have a categorical variable we can now click under the pull down menu and select a nominal now this is an a nominal categorical because there is no special position in the ordering there is no order in the positioning of it so it's just pure simple nominal categorical now we come back to the beginning and start with the second question the second question we are measure, measuring the patient age so I'll just simply call it age now the age that we are working with we do not need any decimals because we're working with years so here we can label it as patient age and we do not need any choices because it is a continuum scale so we would then come to the measure and SPSS correctly suggests that it will be a skill of course it is a skill so we come back to the third one now the third question is also length of stay so I will call it LOS likewise remove the decimals and then the label I will call it length of hospital stay notice that the label you can type a whole long sentence if you want to you allowed about 250 character space now this is also a continuum data that we will compute from the date of admission and the date of discharge so it's not a category choices we would do the computation ourselves it is a continuum and SPSS has you know um, helped by assuming that it is going to be a skill in fact that's the default everything is going to be a skill unless you change it so question number four is where we have six pieces of information they all have similar response set so I'm just going to start with the first one here I want to call it diabetes because that's the first information that we want to measure and there is no need for the decimal so I will change it from 2 to 1 and then the label I can just call it diabetes because that's basically what we are measuring now when it comes to the values here we have yes and no so we would introduce the labels so the zeros let's call it no and the ones yes and so that's okay now you notice that we have six pieces of information all of them would require the same set the values yes and no so I'm just going to show you how we can quickly um, save ourselves a bit of time so I copied that which we have already done and then highlighted five other spaces for the next five questions and then just simply paste it I would 
change all of these decimals from two to one uh, to zero. Sorry. Okay. Now here, all I need is to change the name to hypertension. And of course, I can also make it simple by even copying the name from here and drop it over there. Now let's take a look at the measurement. Now with the measurement, because the default is scale, we need to make sure that we make some changes to that. Now the yes or no is obviously not an ordinal categorical, it's just a simple nominal um, category, uh, no, nominal categorical. So all of them will be nominal. Uh, I was just going to cheat by clicking on and copying the nominal across just as I did it but I thought this would be fine so I so in no time we've just completed designing the questionnaire so we've got all the questions in and also the values and we've also made sure that the measures are all sorted accordingly now it's time for us to switch over to the data view so we can record the 20 records that we have. Now I want you to join me and therefore I'm going to make it up with you. So the first person on the record, we just put the cursor in the first cell and then we choose control. The age, let's suppose a person is 76 years old. We type in 76. We've computed the length of stay to be 23 days. So we move on. Now, the diabetes, the hypertension, remember it's yes or no. So it's going to be no and yes. So I'm just making them up. In the travel, there are a few choices, same as before. Let me just open the box so you can see the choices labels. So the first person, same as before the illness. What about the ability to cook? The ability to cook. Um, guess food out if prepared by others. Um, so that means frozen foods and, you know, ready meals. Yeah, she'll be able to take care of it, but not to start from scratch. What about the household, uh, house, housework? No longer keeps them, can't do it. Somebody has to come and help. So that is how you start putting the records in. So record by record, um, start again. So record by record, with money to put in all the data. So now we know how to create SPSS file from scratch from a paper-based questionnaire.